check out that for a view or it just for that how's it going I'm uh, not dead contrary to popular belief um, I'm just uh, I've been away for a week or so and then sort of off the bike for various and sundry reasons um, so here I am in the wonderful little town of Clamig stuck behind this lad not stuck behind this lad you stuck behind this lad um, and I'm just down on my uh, slightly less boring non-commute uh, I realize a lot of my videos recently have been on the commute me saying something or on the commute like stuff that happens there um, and, and as we come out of the winter I'm hoping that a lot less of it will be around the commute a lot of the weekends, the last couple of weekends, you sort of look out the window and go, will I go out on the bike? No, I won't because, you know, weather is shitty or can't decide what it is. Even today, uh, it's a lovely sunny day and I sort of looked out the window and I said, yeah, I'll go out on the bike. And as I was getting ready, hailstones fell for literally 20 seconds and I just looked out and went, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? But uh, I think I could deal with 20 seconds of hailstones if it's uh, on top of a grand day like this. So the uh, reason on my little training route is uh, I'm still kind of getting used to the bike here, the RS. It's, uh, you know, getting used to it. I know it's the same engine and the same this, but uh, different handle to the GS and I'm just kind of bringing around some of the local. Uh, twisty bits and seeing how it is. This is Kildare Town, home of the stupid way of getting into Kildare Town. Here we are in Curra for the non-Irish or just non-Kildare people. The Curra is the big flat pit nobody wanted to live on so we built a race course and a military base on it and generally just kind of left it alone after that. big and flat and it looks like it's raining at home and there's lots of ships oh no wet roads um, one thing I've learned is not to mind wet roads or, or a way I've learned not to mind wet roads since I've started and this is something I'll pass on to people who are um, just starting out is it's easy to sort of be a bit afraid of you know, if it's dry and then it's wet. The worst kind of wet roads uh, I've found or I've read or I've discovered is if it's been dry for a long time and then it rains. Because what happens is all the grease and exhaust fumes and gick coming off of cars just sits on the road if it's dry. And the minute it's wet, it just turns into a fucking slick. Um, and it's not great. So, this road is wet, but it was wet yesterday and it was wet the day before. <laughs> and it uh, will probably be wet tomorrow, so it's not such a big deal. Um, the road has gotten a wash recently. I've I've driven uh, cars in places like I've driven cars in California where you you literally see the crust of like grease and shit on the road because it hasn't rained in weeks. And you can only imagine riding a motorbike out there that. The minute it gets a bit wet, you stay off the road because it's just, it's worse than ice. It's just literally like somebody greased the road. So in a way, I'm happy enough seeing uh, there being a bit of rain in between the sunshine. Keeps the roads in reasonable condition and puts me off my concentration so I fuck up that roundabout. Oh yeah, that's real bad. Alright. Um, I have a couple of bits to do on the RS and I have to walk around to do on the RS so I might go back and see if it's if I can take advantage of some of this weather and I will uh, talk to you fine people again. Cheers.